Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see about rounding numbers. Rounding numbers is one of the learning outcome in class 5 under the number concepts. You must have learnt about rounding numbers in class 4 also. Let us go into the details of this video now. I have given a simple statement over here. The school is planning to increase the number of children from 2500 to 3000. These are approximate numbers, but they give us an idea of the school's plan. I mean 2500 and 3000 are approximate numbers. Suppose the school gives a statement like this. The school is planning to increase the number of children from 2618 to 2920. This statement will cause a confusion because we do not need so many details. We just need to know that the school is planning to increase the size of the children which is from an approximate number of 2500 to 3000. So what have we done here? The rounded numbers 2500 and 3000 gives us a clear idea of the plan of the school. So what does rounding mean? Making a number simpler but keeping its value close to what it was. The result is less accurate but easier to use in calculations. Example, in this case, the actual number has been rounded off to 3000. Rounding off of numbers is done in three different ways. The first one is rounding to the nearest 10. Next, it is rounding to the nearest 100. And the third method is rounding to the nearest 1000. Let us see each of these in detail. First, to begin with, Rounding to the nearest 10. The method to do this is find the tens between which the number lies. I have taken the example of a three digit number 483. As we have to round off to the nearest 10, look at the tens place and we have 8. And 83 is the number which lies between 80 and 90. So 483 lies between 480 and 490. In class 4, you would have used the method of number lines to find out the number which is closer to 483. But now as you are in class 5, we will be adopting other different methods to round off numbers to the nearest 10. So first consider the number 483. Now we will have to round off to the nearest 10. So look at the tens place. This is the target digit. We have 8 over here. Next you will have to look at the digit which is to the right of the target digit. We have 3. So if we have the digits to be 5 or above 5, we can say that they are moving towards the upper limit. So we will have to round up the digit to the upper limit. Now since here it is 3 which is lesser than 5, it is towards the lower limit. So we will have to Round it down to the lower limit which will be 480. So rounding 483 to the nearest 10 you will get 480. This is one method. Let us see another shortcut method for doing rounding off to the nearest 10. So once again take the number 483. In the tens place you have 8 which is the target digit. So to round off to the nearest 10 you first choose the target digit and look out for the digit which is to the right of the target digit. You will have to make all the digits to the right of the target digit to be 0. And if the digit to the right of the target digit is 5 and above 5, you will add 1 to the target digit. Else the digit will remain the same. To be more clear, let me explain. In this case, the target digit in the tens place is 8 and the digit to the right of the target digit is 3. So first, 
you will make this digit to be 0. And then, since the value of this digit is lesser than 5, there will be no change in the target digit. Suppose, instead of 3, you had 5 or a num digit above 5, there will be 1 which is added to the target digit. In this case, since it is 3 which is lesser than 5, you will just make the digit 0 and the target digit will not change. So, rounding off 483 to the nearest 10, you will get 480. If we do more examples, you will understand this concept better. Let us take another example. Find the tens between which the number lies. I have taken the number 45,967 in which the tens place is 6. So, 67 lies between the tens 60 and 70. So, 45,967 lies between 45,960 and 45,970. So, now let us take the number and identify the target digit. Since we have to round it off to the nearest 10, so the digit in the tens place becomes the target digit. The digit next to the target digit is 7 which is bigger than 5. So we know that it is towards the upper limit. So rounding 45,967 to the nearest 10, you will get the answer 45,970. This is the first method. Let us see the second shortcut method by which you can round it to the nearest 10. In the target digit that is in the tens place we have 6. So as per the rule, the digit after the tens digit should be made 0. And since the value is above 5, we will have to add 1 to the target digit. So the answer will be 45,970. Let us take another example. We have a 7 digit number 72,14,555. We will have to round it off to the nearest 10. So we have 5 in the tens place and 55 lies between the tens 50 and 60. So 72,14,555 lies between 72,14,550 and 72,14,560. So let us do it with the first method where the target digit is 5 and the digit after the target digit is 5 which is in the midway. When the digit is in the midway or above the midway which is above 5, we will be rounding it up to the upper limit. So in this case, rounding it to the nearest 10, you will get 72,14,560. Let us do this by the second method where you have the target digit in the tens place to be 5. The digit after that should be made 0 and since the value is 5, or if it has been above 5 also, you will have to add 1 to the target digit. So the answer will be 72,14,560. Hope rounding to the nearest 10 has been clear so far. Next let us move on to rounding to the nearest 100. For this, you will have to find the hundreds between which the number lies. For example, let us take the number 8,542. The hundreds place you have 5 and the number 542 lies between the hundreds 500 and 600. So 8542 lies between 8500 and 8600. Let us do it by the first method. So 8542 in which the target digit is in the hundreds place. So here we have the number 5 in the hundreds place. Next you will have to look out for the digit which is to the right of the target digit which is 4 which is lesser than 5 so we will round it down to the lower limit. So rounding 8542 to the nearest 100 the lower limit is 8500 so the answer is 8500. Let us do rounding off to the nearest 100 by the second method. First identify the target digit. In this case we have to round it off to the nearest 100. So the digit in the hundreds place is the target digit which is 5 in this case. So we will have to make the numbers or the digits to the right of the target digits to be 0. So these two will become 0 and the digit which is immediately to the right of the target digit is lesser than 5. So you will not be adding anything to the target digit. So the answer will be 
8500. Let us take another example 2,38,850. Find the hundreds between which this number lies. The hundreds digits you have 8. So 850 lies between the hundreds 800 and 900. So 2,38,850 lies between 2,38,800 and 2,38,900. So we have to do rounding off to the nearest 100. So the target digit is in the hundreds place which is 8 in this case. So you have to look out for the digit which is next to the target digit which is 5 which is in the midway. So we will have to round it up to the upper limit. So rounding to the nearest 100 to the upper limit when you round it off you will get 2,38,900. Next let us do rounding off to the nearest 100 by the second method where the target digit is 8. So the digits after the target digits will be made 0. So these two digits will be made 0 and as the digit which is after the target digit is 5, you will be adding 1 to the target digit. So the answer will be 2,38,900. Let us do one more example. Here we have 72,14,555 and it lies between the hundreds 72,14,500 and 72,14,600. So the target digit here in the hundreds place is 5 and the digit after that is 5 which is also in the midway. So you will be rounding it up to the upper limit. So rounding to the nearest hundred you will get the answer to be 72,14,600. Let us do rounding off by the second method where the target digit is 5. So the digits after the target digits will be made 0. And since the value of the digit after the target digit is 5, you will be adding 1 to the target digit. So the answer will be 72,14,600. Next we are going to learn how to round off numbers to the nearest 1000. Before that I am happy you are watching my video. If you like the quality of my video, Please do click the subscribe button as it definitely adds value to my channel. Do not forget to tap the bell button and choose the all option to receive regular notifications of all updates that I make in my channel. Now let us do rounding to the nearest thousand. The rule for this is find the thousands between which the number lies. So we have 18,925 and in the target digit we have 8. That is in the thousands place you have 8 and 8,925 lies between the thousands 8,000 and 9,000. So 18,925 lies between 18,000 and 19,000. So by applying the rules, in the target digit you have 8 in the thousands place. The digit after the target digit is 9 which is bigger than 5. So you will be rounding it up to the higher limit which is 19,000. So rounding to the nearest thousand, you will get the answer to be 19,000. Let us do the second method. So the target digit is 8 and you will have to make the digits after the target digits to be 0. So these three digits will become 0 and the value of the digit which is next to the target digit is 9 which is bigger than 5. So you will be adding 1 to the target digit. So the answer will be 19,000. Let us do another example to understand this better. I have taken the number 75,500 and in the target digit we have 5 and 5,500 lies between the thousands 5,000 and 6,000. So 75,500 lies between 75,000 and 76,000. So in the target digit you have 5 and the number after the target digit is also 5 which is in the midway. So rounding to nearest 1000 you will get 76,000. Let us do it by the second method. Here the target digit is 5 which is in the thousands place. So the remaining digits after the target digit will be made 0. So these three digits will be made 0 and since the value of the digit after the target digit is 5, 1 will be added to the target digit. So the answer will be 76,000. With that we complete the topic rounding numbers. These are all the other learning outcome in class 5 and explain about uh, them in detail in my class 5 learning outcome video link to which is given below in the description box. Each of these learning outcomes are also handled in separate videos. Link to all related videos are given below in the description box. If you like the content of my video give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and do provide your valuable comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again.